What is going on guys? Joey Franzo here, Flex Training Systems. Today is my heavy low bar squat day. I normally don't put out videos on days like today because it is all about me focusing on training, taking care of myself, getting myself in the right mindset to go hurt myself under some heavy weight. But there's news in the world that we live in and I'm here to talk about it. That I've heard a lot of different um, smart points from a lot of you guys and you know I have my own opinions as well um, you know and I'm just gonna share that with you guys I'm gonna give you guys some stuff to think about um, now you know this this me is not going to have a qualifying total um, in one two three weeks and two days okay so after May 15th it is currently April 22nd they're going to open the gates and anyone that would like to do nationals which like the fact that that is even in the same sentence anyone that would like to do nationals the the the, the concept of a nationals on its own is something exclusive it's something for the best you know what I mean it's something you know where you are supposed to sort of find out within your country who are the best lifters so that they can compete at the world level, right? And out of the thousands of people that are in the country that do powerlifting, I don't know if it's over a million. I'd be surprised if it was. It's only like, two, what was that, like 12 people? It's like 24 people, men and women, something like that, 24, 25? I don't know. Something like that. Those Those people get to move on to the next level. That's how it is. How, how I kind of see it. I understand that powerlifting is not a spectator sport. There is always some sort of monetary thing that will control how certain events are ran. The money comes from the participants. It doesn't come from people watching. Um, that being said, going back to my, uh, before getting sidetracked, after May 15th, they're going to open it up and anybody can sign up, right? Anybody can sign up. Um, I feel like, well, one, let's just talk about, you know, the uh, the health situation. Given the state of things right now, um, the only way I could ever see a competition happening is if an area was like a very low threat, they had very low amount of cases, and they did something like we did at the Arnold where it was just lifters. Um, I could potentially see that happening. There is no way. I don't know if you guys have ever been to a Nationals, those listening. Like, I remember going in the day that Amanda was lifting um, in the morning. The amount of girls, the amount of people that were in there. Oh, my God. Like, it would be a literal breeding ground for a sickness. Literally. So, that obviously... I don't see a future where that can even potentially happen. The world will literally never have those gatherings like that to that capacity ever again unless, um, I mean, I, like if there's no vaccine or, or serious cure, I don't see how that could possibly happen. Um, so the fact that now in April they make this announcement that you have a month to sign up if you want to do nationals, Otherwise, they're going to open it up for everyone. That's kind of that's kind of weird to me. I think that's really early. I think we should wait till last minute. I f can't help but wonder if there's an alternative alternative motive. Like what? Like why would you do that now? You know what I mean? Um, maybe they're doing it now because they don't think it would be fair for people to have to compete as soon as this thing, you know, let's meet ha let's meets happen. But it is entirely possible that they do this and all these people sign up, the meet's full, and then it just literally cannot happen because, you know, the state of Florida does not let it happen. So that's a potential thing, in which case, who cares what I'm saying? That You know, it's not going to happen anyway. There's no point in even talking about it, whatever. Assuming that it does happen with some restrictions, things will, well, things will I mean, still still many, many months away. Things will have to get a lot better um, to even allow that to happen. But until there is like a definite vaccine, until there's an absolute way to like kill this thing um, and we can go back to normal, you know, 
uh, you know one of one of you guys that responded to me said that no no event is going to be the same um without without a cure there's no there's no there's no way there's just no way um my whole thing is i mean shit i could just read you i will read you my comment that i left on the usapl page uh because a lot of you guys liked it all right so this is my kind of stance my initial thoughts were even if this meet is allowed to happen and there's a small chance i could get corona me joey i would sit out the only way i would go full full force is if i could be protected 99.9 percent .9%. and there's no guarantee as of now i say 99.9 .9 percent because you know, anytime you do anything, there's always a risk something could happen to you. So it's like, you know, you're never going to be guaranteed. Um, as of now, I would have to wait till last minute to make a decision. Personally, I'm probably not going to be competing. So, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to compete. I have a lot of lifters that are going to be stronger um, later in the week. They're going to perform very well, and I want to be able to dedicate myself to them 100%. I don't really see a point in me competing um, when I'm putting them as a priority over my own performance uh, but I mean there's nothing new the only thing is now I have more people in the later days um, where am I uh, luckily luckily so I said luckily I'm in a position to quarantine myself um, if I needed to but if you have a parent you're worried about uh, you know if you have a parent you're worried about their health you know, obviously things would, be, would need to be dramatically better before making a decision that's another thing like I don't I don't like that if, you know, okay, I'm already qualified. I don't like that I have to make a decision, you know, in three weeks when things are changing every day. Things are changing all the time. Certain states are being closed again. Certain places are being, you know, opened up. Like, all these things are changing. Everything is revolving, you know, constantly. So, I think it's just too early to be able to make a decision. Um, but, you know, like like they said, like, let's say, let's say the meet still happens, right? But, you know, the state of things aren't really too good. What if in my state, this is another thing people haven't thought about. What if in my state, it's really bad, right? And because I'm traveling to an area that isn't so bad, just let's say the, the roles were reversed or whatever, I have to be quarantined for two weeks. So how would I travel from my state to another state, you know, like, I mean, if we're doing that with other countries, I don't see why we wouldn't do it regionally. Um, you know, I leave my state, I go to another state, I'm coming from a place that is heavily, densely populated. Let's say I did a good job quarantining, you know, I did a really good job staying safe and not, and I don't have anything, but I have to travel through an airport in an area that has, you know, a lot of potential risk. Then I get on a plane and I go to a place that's like pretty, pretty docile in terms of, you know, infections. And then now they're like, oh, you got to wait for two weeks before we let you do anything because, um... You know, we don't want you coming to our population and, like, infecting people there. You know what I mean? Like, how do we know? That is probably where things are going to end up going. Um, you know, and vice versa. What if you go do nationals and now you can't go home for two weeks because, you know, you're, you're mandatory man quarantine or some shit. You know what I mean? It's so, it's like so many questions. It's like so many questions, even if it can happen. Um, it's just, it kills the mood of it. It really does. It really does kill the mood of it. It just makes it hard for me to kind of focus on like what I'm supposed to be doing. I mean, if I go, I would not I will not go to nationals if I cannot do my job to 100%. I can have a lot of distractions around me and still do like still do my shit, do what I have to do, make sure my people get handled business. Um you know, but if there is any risk that I won't be able to return, if there's any risk, you know that um like if it's if if I wouldn't willingly go into a situation knowing, hey man, you're probably gonna get sick. You know what I mean? I I wouldn't. I I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. And I, you know, I think, I think we have to, you know, God forbid, like people say, oh, it's like an old people disease, whatever. Well, if you're there's some young people too, and God forbid you're one of those young people, um, where no matter how healthy you are, there's just nothing you can do about it. So. Uh, some of the things that you guys said to me, um, you guys thought that opening it up to everyone sort of brings down the level of competition. I mean, if you think about it, it really doesn't because, the, you know, the best lifters could potentially still all go if they didn't care about safety shit. It's possible that they all show up and it's still very competitive meet. 
Um, I know some lifters personally that are at the top level that would not go to this competition out of fear of them bringing something home to their family. So can you imagine a nationals where like the obvious winners didn't show up and it's like other people now? I mean, I don't know, dude, that just kind of kills the whole thing for me. Um, as of right now, the idea of this just seems like a terrible idea. Maybe, you know, closer, maybe it's a good idea. Maybe things are really good in a couple months and everything's fine. Um, I had a very interesting, like I had, I had somebody say to me, I was really working hard to try to qualify. And now that they're just kind of giving it to people, you kind of lose, lose, lose the chase. You lose the, you know, you're working so hard for a big goal, the pursuit of that big goal, something you want so bad and you're getting there and now they just give it to you. You know what I mean? Um, I can totally see that. I'm just going to give you guys some like a very, very minute personal example. Um, I play online PC games, right? Some of those PC games, you have to literally invest, like, you can invest an entire year trying to trying to grind for something, and you won't get it, because it's like a 0.05% chance of getting it. On, on PC, you know, you can mod your game and put whatever you want in your game. Um, so this thing that I've been working so hard to get, like, for so long, I've been just trying to grind for this thing, I could just get, I could, I could get 10 of them if I wanted for free, for absolutely free, and there's no penalty at all. Um, and, uh, I first experimented with this, uh, over a year ago and it just kind of, I don't know. It, I don't know how to describe it. It's like when you're pursuing something that you really, really want, and then they just given to you, it makes it not special because the, the investment isn't there. The time that you put into work towards that goal isn't there. Um, you know, so I totally could see where that guy's coming from. You know, I totally understand that. I totally understand that. And if you don't understand that, you're just not being sensitive to the situation or it's just not something that's relatable for you. Um, you know, but even if it does happen, let's say it does happen, something to think about. Imagine we have to wear masks. We have to wear gloves. You can't take pictures of people, right? You cannot take any pictures of people because obviously you have to get, what, are you going to stand fucking six feet apart? That's so lame. You know what I mean? It's like, what is this? It's going to kill the vibe. There's going to be no crowd. There's not going to be hype. You know, it's just like, all right, sure, they let it happen, but it's lame how it, you know, I don't know, man. Maybe they could pull something off like the Arnold. I mean, I had a good time with the Arnold and it worked out, but there was nobody there. There's like a third of the people that would normally be there. You know, maybe there's way less. There's way less. What am I talking about? It's fucking way less. Um, You know, so, yeah, I mean, what is Nationals to you? Like, what do you guys think Nationals is? What What do you... um? You know, what do you think a national should be? Would you guys, would you guys, I'm curious, would you guys pay to watch nationals, um, you know, like at from home? Do you guys not care? I'm just curious because it's very hard to focus on something when there is this cloud sort of looming over, you know, it's not, it's not that I can't, it's not that you can't focus, it's just, it kills the essence of it. It kills the mood of it. It kills the the true full I would say that people if 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 this sickness is still going around and people, you know, do nationals, I would say the amount of people, you know, some people might be might be just like they don't care and they just go. Great. Um, but I know a lot of people that said they wouldn't go if again, their safety couldn't be guaranteed. Or, you know, you know, they're pretty much uh, not not guaranteed, but very, very safe. It's just very highly reducing the chances. Um, you know, they, they, they just wouldn't go. Um, so even if even if the meet does happen, it it's not going to be the same. Like, great. You get to do a nationals. You get to do a nationals like anybody could do it. Right. Good job. Let's say this thing goes away and anybody can do it. It the only way you're going to get the full experience of a national is if there's like no threat to anyone's health. If there's no way anybody's gonna get sick and this thing is completely gone by then, which I don't, I don't see how it could be. Right, but let's just say it's gone. Let's just say there's no sickness and everybody can go compete. Then I think you may be able to get the full nationals experience. Right, you might be, you know, you 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 can see what nationals is like, and you get to lift there and you know meet lifters and things like that. 
if there is sickness still lingering and precautions have to be taken, you're not going to get the full experience. You're going to get a watered down, lame version of what nationals could truly be because not everybody's going to show up. It's just not going to be the same. Um, I know people that pulled out of the Arnold, and that was like in the very, very early stages. There wasn't anything crazy going on or none of that. And people were just like, nope, I'm out. I'm not doing it. Uh, I'm not doing it. I'm not going to risk it. So, you know, I was like dead set when we got to the airport to just turn around and go home if they, you know, if they told me like, hey, there's like high risk or whatever. Um, I would have just been like, all right, screw it. I'm not going to do it. But luckily that didn't happen. I don't want this to sound like I'm being like super negative or anything. I'm just, I just don't like the idea of having to make a decision to sign up for nationals in the next three weeks. I'm not even competing. I'm not going to even compete. I'm just going to coach, right? I'm tr we're trying to take it all home this year. You know what I mean? We're trying to win even more than we have, you know? Um, and, you know, it hurts me, I would say, more than most people. From If we just want to talk from a monetary standpoint, it hurts me a lot. It hurts me tremendously for Nationals not to, to be what it is, right? So I don't gain anything by providing an a perspective that hurts me directly. Obviously, I'm literally hurting myself by telling people to be careful and maybe not go. If I want, if I was a piece of shit, I would just say, "Yeah, man, everybody go. You know, everybody go. Everybody, uh, you know, you know, go compete. Don't worry, everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine." No, man, I'm not gonna say that. You just gotta take it day by day. At the end of the day, we have to take it day by day. We don't know for sure, right? We have no idea what's gonna happen. Um, we just have to take it day by day, and. I really hope that it goes away. I really hope that we can continue to, to improve. But in the meantime, we're kind of in limbo. It's like you're on call. You're just going to train, hope 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 that you're in a good position. Um, you know, and then if all if all lights are if all cylinders are firing, then you will be happy that you stayed in shape and that you can act, can actually compete. I had some people tell me um, they would not feel right going to a meet. They didn't earn a spot at I think that is a very honorable perspective. I think that is a great way to look at it. Um, but at the end of the day, what is nationals to you? If the option is there, will you take it? A lot of lifters are super young. They don't have a concept of morals. They don't have a concept of this honor. They don't have a concept of, not all of them, but a lot of them, they don't have a concept of you know, working for things and earning things. Maybe they just want to do it and they don't care. Um, all I'm saying is, we have to take things day by day. I think it's a very strange, it's just strange. Everything is just strange. Like I said, I hope this thing goes away. Um, but as of this second, as of right now, it's very hard for me to picture a future. It's very hard for me to picture the end result of something that no one has ever dealt with before, right? Nobody knows how this thing is gonna be then. Um, yeah, I don't know guys. I am very, very curious. Please let me know what you guys are thinking down below. What do you guys think about this? What is on your mind? Like, I I genuinely want to get a discussion going. I don't understand, you know. I just don't understand. I just don't understand. <laughs> I don't get it, guys. I don't get it. Let me, let me get a hashtag. I don't get it in the comments below. <laughs> let me get a hashtag. Uh, whatever you want. Whatever you want in the comments below. Um... And yeah, thank you guys to everyone that tuned into the programming stream yesterday. Um, getting, you know, we're growing more and more each time. Those are like some of the best content I put out. I'm actually gonna do this, another video this week, talking about, you know, what you can expect from me on my different social media platforms. Um, so yeah, I am gonna do that in my next video, which I'm gonna actually record right now, I'll post it later in the week. Thank you guys so much for being here, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.